multiplication with Napier's bones. Now, this is another way of multiplying, just like column multiplication. This method seems a bit harder, but actually it's much, much quicker. So let's have a look at a few examples. So here we have 25 multiplied by 17. And I've got this weird box in the middle. Now these you have to draw yourself. I suggest copying out what I'm doing as we go. The reason I've got these four boxes is because here I've got a two by two number. You know, when you're writing out of Napier's bones, you have to write out your numbers. So I've got my two here, my five here, my one, and my seven. If I had, for example, 170 here, I have two extra boxes here and put my zero there. We'll see a few examples of that in a minute. The next thing you need to do is put diagonal lines going through the corners of your box, like so. So you have a line going through here and you're making it a bit further than you think, like so. A line going through this one and again the same idea, a bit further than it needs to be and the same here, like so. Then you just work through multiplying and you do this one times those and fill in these boxes and this one times those and fill in these boxes. Let me show you. So the first thing we've got is one, one times five, that's just five. If it's a single number, you put a zero and then the number, so zero, five. The one times the two is zero, two. Seven times the five, is 35, and the seven times the two is 14. Then you just add in your diagonal lines. The way I see that is you add this, you add these together, these together, and this, and you put your numbers at the end of those diagonal rows. So here you'd have just your five. Here you've got four, three and five, so that's 12. So I put my two here and put a little one up here. Here we've got a one, a one, and a two, which is four. Here we've got zero. So your answer here is zero, four, two, five, which is just 425. That's a quick way of doing it. Let's see a few more examples, and I've already drawn out my Napier's bones to help me. So here I've got 278, that's why I've got these three columns, and then just a nine here. And all I'm gonna do is multiply through like before and then add. Knowing your timetables here is really important. So eight times nine is 72. Nine times seven is 63, and nine times two is 18, and then I'm just gonna add, like before, in my diagonals. So that one, those two, those two, and that one. That gives me here, obviously just two. Three and seven is 10, so zero, my one here. One, eight, and six is 15, so five, one. One and one is two, so here I get, 2,502, as easy as that. If you're starting to get this, and you have a go at this example on your own. So here I've got 607 and 46. So working across, four by the seven, seven, 14, 21, 28. Four by the zero is just, Zero, four by six is 24. And now my sixes, six sevens is 42. Six zeros is just zero. Six sixes, 36. And again, adding along these diagonals. So first one, I've just got two. Second one, zero, four, and eight is 12. So two 
and the 1. Here I've got 1, 6, 0, 0 and 2, so that's just 9, 3, 4, 0, 7 and just 2. So I get 27,922. Last example is huge, but I'm just going to show you it still works. If you're feeling really confident here, feeling brave, pause now, copy out the Napier's bones and have a go yourself. So line this one up. Five, six, eight, and one. Four, four, and two. Hopefully here you know exactly what I'm going to do. One times the four is four. Four times the eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-four. 32. 4 times the 6 is 24. 4 times 5, 20. Now if I've got a 4 again, actually I can be really quick here, it's going to be the exact same answers. So a 4, a 3 and a 2, a 2 and a 4, and a 2 and a 0. Now timesing by the 2. 0, 2. 2 eights is 16. Two sixes is 12, and two fives is 10. So now, again, adding my diagonals. I'm not going to highlight this time, I'm just trying to do it in one go. So here I've just got two. So two. Here I've got four, zero, and six. That's 10. So I've got a zero and an extra one. Four and zero is four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a zero and an extra one. Zero, two, five, nine, ten, eleven. So one, carry the extra one. Three and four is seven, nine, still nine, ten, eleven. So one, the one up here. Two and zero is two, three, four, five. The last one is just a two. So writing that out, two, five, one, one, zero, zero, two. So that's two million five hundred eleven thousand and two. And there you can see how quick it is to multiply big numbers using Napier's bones. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Check out more of our content and remember, subscribe to our channel.